Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and I'm back for more MFT Camp Create Session 2 fun. This is another week-long event where we have went back to summer camp and we are hanging out all week and we're getting creative and we're making all kinds of crafts. And today we're going to have a little bit of fun and do a little bit of die cut inlay. So die cut inlay is kind of scary to some people, um, but it's really easy and it's super fun and it's a great way to add um, a design to your card but not have any dimension it leaves everything completely one layer so I'm going to kind of do a card here and I'm going to step it up a notch and I'm not just going to die cut inlay one single image I'm actually going to die cut on top of other images and show you how easy it is to kind of put everything back together so to start off I'm using the watercolor wash paper pad this is a fantastic paper pad this is the bright one there's two versions one's kind of has lighter colors and one has darker colors and I'm using all of that type of paper with some silver sparkle cardstock to create this cool die cut inlay. So what I've done is I've taken the blue color first and I cut that out with a stitch rectangle die and I cut two butterflies into that piece and then I took a green and a pink piece and I took the same two butterflies and cut them out of those two colors and now you can see they fit perfectly into that blue piece. But I'm, I'm going to step it up one more notch and I'm going to cut out the happy birthday to you sentiment directly on top of these two butterflies. So I put the two butterflies into the openings and I put some tape onto the back to kind of hold them in place. And now I'm positioning the happy birthday to you die directly on top. And once again, I'm adhering that down with a piece of tape. And now I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. And when I bring it back, it's going to be a big mess, really. Let's be honest, there's going to be die cut pieces all over the place. So if you have the patience for a lot of die cut pieces and kind of reassembling everything back together, then this technique is going to be for you. If you don't necessarily like the idea of kind of figuring out how everything goes back together, then you may just want to do a die cut inlay where you're just cutting one image and then die cut inlaying the pieces that go with it. So just do the butterflies or just do the happy birthday to you or any other images that you like. So for this one here though, we're going to do the two images on top of one another. So the key thing with this technique is you want to make sure you don't throw away any of the tiny little pieces. So you'll see as I continue to cut pieces out, all of the little pieces end up scattered around my work surface and I'm going to need some of those pieces. So you want to kind of keep everything together and you're going to kind of pick and choose from those pieces when you put everything back together and then you can throw away everything that doesn't get used once you have everything put back together. So I cut this sentiment once again out of silver sparkle cardstock and for that we're going to be using all of the letters so we're going to die cut all of the or die cut inlay all of those letters into the finished design. So I, I took a piece of typing paper, it's just a thin piece of typing paper, and I completely covered it with adhesive, and now I'm adding it to the back of the die cut panel with all of the pieces removed. So there's nothing left in that background piece that I've die cut. It's just complete holes and openings where I have the sentiment and the butterflies, and I've adhered it down over that piece of typing paper. And now where all of the letters and the butterflies are, is completely covered in adhesive because I put adhesive on first. So I can simply lay the pieces inside the open areas, and they're going to adhere down directly onto the adhesive and I don't have to worry about adding adhesive to each individual piece which kind of gets tricky when we get to the smaller pieces. So I put the two butterflies in first just because they are the biggest pieces and I'm just going to kind of build off of those and you can see the, the pink butterfly kind of looks like a hot mess. There, It has lots of its body missing um, but as we start to assemble and put everything in it's going to all take shape and you're going to see the finished design and what it looks like once we have everything back into the openings and finish the die cut inlay. So I'm taking a bunch of the letters and I'm starting to adhere those in and they fit perfectly into the openings and they, like I said the adhesive is already there so all I have to do is find the corresponding letter, put it into the opening and it's going to adhere right down. And then as I add the letters they all have center pieces that need to go back in. So once I find the little center piece I just put it back in as well. And you can see that the D is a perfect example of kind of how that butterfly is coming back together. Because when I die cut it the inside area of the D is actually a piece of the blue and a piece of the pink together. So it puts back part of the butterfly's body and then the rest of the sky area behind it. And I'm going to continue to do this until I have this whole image completely put back together. So I'm just adding in more of the letters and I'm not going in any type of order. I'm just kind of grabbing letters or grabbing pieces as I go and tucking them in. I do like to put the letters in and then kind of try and find the little pieces that go around them to fill everything in. And I'm just kind of adding it as I go. And then as you can see, all of this is taking shape and we're ending up with this great image. 
this beautiful background and everything is die cut inlay so that it's all one layer and I don't have any dimension on this card. Now if you don't want to do die cut inlay and you like the look of this type of card, you can definitely cut out your two butterfly images and just adhere them directly onto that blue background and then just die cut the words happy birthday to you and then adhere them over top. So it's definitely doable without doing the die cut inlay. It does take some time to put everything back together, but I just really love the effect you get when everything is one layer and it's all put together like a puzzle. It's just so rewarding when you get it finished and you have this great finished design. So I have everything done here and all of that scrap stuff underneath of me just kind of got swished off into my garbage can and I'm done with that, so I don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to adhere the finished panel to a white cardstock panel and then I'm going to add some clear sequins to finish the design off. This is a very soft card. I use very soft, light colors, which is very unlike me. I like to go a little bit bolder usually, but I really like the look of the soft colors, the water color wash design, and the silver sparkle letters. I just think it is a beautiful card, and it just everything went so well together. So to finish off the sequins, I'm just adding some silver stickles to the center, and then that is going to complete the card. And we have this great die cut inlay technique on this card front. And that brings us to today's creative challenge. So today we want you to create a card with die cut inlay. So you can do a single image, you can do multiple images like I did on this card. We just want you to have fun and try some die cut inlay and see if you like it. And then when you finish your project, make sure to go to the corresponding blog post for today's video and link it up in the in links. And if you participate in all five days of camp this week and create a project, you will be eligible to win a $150 gift card to MFT Stamps. And if you simply leave a comment on today's video, you will also be eligible to win a $15 gift card to MFT Stamps. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you're enjoying Summer Camp Session 2, and we will see you tomorrow for more camp fun.